Now, we talk about the concept of bar notations. Now, bar notations technically means that we're dealing with the logarithm of numbers that are less than one. When numbers are less than one, we begin to have a situation where when we look for their logs, we have negative numbers. For instance, if I ask you to find the log of 0 0.0365, for instance, remember we saw our standard form pattern, we will first of all write this as what 3.65 times 10 to the power of negative two. That's negative two, suggesting that we're trying to make a small number look big. Now, we can go to our four-figure table and check up what this value will be. If we check our four-figure table for log reading, we check 36 under five, the answer we expect to be a decimal number, 36 under five, that will be 5623. So that will be 0.5623, which is the answer we're expecting to get. I just want to keep it there so I don't forget. So it, it will mean that the log of 0 0.0365 will be equal to what? 0.5623 plus a negative two. Remember we had said, which I can write to be what? Negative two plus uh, uh, 0 0.5623. Remember that when we're writing the log of a number in terms of the characteristics and the mantissa, we had said that the characteristics can be positive or negative. So when we obtain the negative, the characteristics are negative, we don't just write it like this. To be able to combine two of them together, we write it as bar, bar, 2.5623. Please take note that this bar 2.5623 is not the same thing as negative 2.5623. There are students who want to use calculator. This is why when I started initially, when I started teaching log reading, I used to discourage students from using calculator. Although there's a way out, but I discourage you from using calculator because once you start using calculator, you will lose the con this concept. And once you've lost this concept, hmm, you're gonna have it a hard way in log reading. So what you must take note of is that these two are not the same. This one means that it is negative 2.563. This one means that, this one means negative two plus 0 0.5623. I was saying it. So that's something you must lock into your imagination in a matter of bar notations. I started by saying that the concept of bar notation referred to looking for the log of a number that is less than one, which means that the number is considered as what a pure decimal. Number two, we said that if you're looking for that number, we will obtain the mantissa and the what? We'll write the number first in standard form. This answer gives us the characteristics and our logarithm table will give us this. And in combining them together, we introduce what is called a bar notation. We suggest from our previous knowledge that the characteristics side can be written as positive or negative. So we we'll write it as negative, we introduce a cap on it, telling us that this is negative and the negative does not touch the decimal part. All right, and I think that will take care of the bad notation because the next idea now will be trying to see how we now manipulate the, or work on the decimal, um, how we now play with bad notations. So a quick reminder here that the, our textbook of reference is the New General Mathematics Book 2, SS2, um, grade 11. And that's the textbook we're using for this experience. If, it, if my school, this is actually what we do in SS. At SS1, we still use this textbook because some of these ideas are covered as SS1 work. Uh, we, I, I try, there are certain topics, topics like log reading, I clear from beginning to the end. And then when you see it after there, it's just pure revision, revision level work. 
So on page 21 or 20 of this textbook, the concept addition and subtraction of bar notation is being tested because you really need to know how to add and subtract in bar notation. So we're going to look at exercise 1F. And I'm just going to pick a few of the questions there just to help our uh, understanding. So I'll take those of additions first. Let's say I have, I'll do number one, let's see this, bar 2.6 plus bar 3.1. The trick here is to treat them independently, to treat them independently. Now, from your knowledge of primary school, you add your unit side first. Add and then move this way. So six plus one will give me seven. There's no carry, so it stays that way. Then bar two plus bar three means negative two plus negative three. Negative two plus negative three will give me what? Negative five. So you're already conversant with addition and subtraction in bars. And that will not be an issue for you. So let's go to question two. In question two, we have bar 1.5 plus bar 2.5. How do you add this home? Now, in this setup, five plus five will give me 10. So I put down zero and I have a carry of positive one. So positive one plus negative one will give me what? Zero. Zero plus negative two, give me bar two. So you see that this answer becomes what? Bar two. All right, so that's for question two. Um, so let's go to subtraction now. So I'll take a question. Let me take, a, I'm trying to check. Let me take question five. Um, I have bar five. 5.4 minus bar 1.2. This one is simple, subtraction. 4 minus 2, 4 minus 2 will give me 2. Now, bar 5 minus bar 1. Now, let me split out and show you what's happening here. This is, uh, let me come here so you see what's happening. Bar 5 minus bar one. What is the mathematical interpretation of this? This is negative five minus negative one, which will be what? Negative five plus one. Negative five plus one will mean what? So negative five add one, which means move forward. Positive means move forward. So negative five plus one will be bar four. This will give me what? Negative four, which in the context of log reading, they will write as what bar four. So this will be bar four point two. Right now, that settled. I want to go to a question that involves me having a carry. So let's look at question nine. In question nine, we have bar three point five minus bar one point seven, and this is where it becomes very tricky. This way it becomes very tricky. Five minus seven, it cannot. So what do we do? We borrow from bar three. I don't have, I have to take from what I don't have, means that I will now have less. So if it were possible for you to take from what you don't have, look at it. If you look at your number line, you have bar three, or let's say negative three, negative two, negative one, zero. If you are coming back, it will be negative four, negative five. So if they say, take one from negative three, please move backwards. So that means it will not be what, bar four. So this would, if you take one from it, it becomes bar four, and you add that one there, it becomes what, 15. So 15 minus seven. I hope you're aware that once you take one from this, technically you have added 10 here. 15 minus seven gives you eight. So you now have bar four minus bar one. What does that mean? It means bar four minus four minus minus one, negative four uh, minus plus one. So start from four, move one step forward, and that will be what? 
negative three or bar three. So the answer becomes bar 3.8. All right. Conditions. Let's look at mixed conditions. Uh, let me look at question 16. It says what? Three, or rather 2.6 plus bar 3.4. So what does that mean? Look at this. Six plus four will give me zero. That's 10 carry one. One plus three is three. Three minus three, because this will now be three plus bar three, which is interpreted as what? Three minus three, and that will give me what? Zero. So that will be 0, 0.0. I you seeing that? Now let's take another, I'm trying to look at, okay, let me take, uh, let me take another scenario. Let's take question 18. And uh, bar 3.3, minus by 5.5. I'm just trying to pick out different practical scenarios you can have. Three minus five, you cannot. When you borrow from a negative, you make that number more negative. So this one becomes bar four. If I borrow from bar three, it becomes bar four. If I borrow from bar four, it becomes bar five. If I borrow from bar five, it becomes bar six. All right, so with that said, this becomes eight. Bar four minus bar five. So that will be bar four minus bar five. See what I'm writing there so I don't confuse myself. This will be negative four minus negative five, which will be negative four plus five, which I can write to be what? Four and five minus four. And that's five, five minus four. That is what? One. So that becomes 1.8. And that is that you need to understand about bar notation when it comes to addition and subtractions of. Bars.